Tonight, I'm Becton Chopped. Only the finest of Becton's culinary department go head to head creating their own signature dish. With one hour to shop, five teams look to take their talents to the next level and become the next Becton Chop champion. Hello and welcome to Beckton Chopped. I'm your host, Giancarlo Casada. Tonight on BTV, we have a treat for you at home. The Beckton Chef shows their own ingredients for the main dish while a mystery meal was created with mystery ingredients. All the teams shop till they drop, staying in the budget within just $10. That's right, $10, which is meals from scratch. All the teams will be judged by Beckton's best in the final moments of this competition as we determine the winner by the end of the show. In a winner winner, chicken dinner matchup. See what I did there? No, okay. Let's take a look at the teams competing. My name is Ishan and I'm in Pro Start 2. My name is Matthew, I'm also in Pro Start 2. My name is Brian and I'm also in Pro Start 2. My name is Vicente, I'm in Pro Start 2. Today we are making a spicy miso ramen as our main dish for the side of chicken katsu and then our dessert is going to be like a banana pudding. For the dessert, when I saw the three, um, the ingredients we had to use, it like came straight to my mind about the banana pudding. And then the spicy miso ramen, he's like, who doesn't like spice? Who doesn't like soup? It's cold out, so you might as well, who doesn't like chicken, you know? Fan favorite. We did a lot of work in preparation for this. Uh, our prep actually was the most extensive out of all the groups, and we, we did look and check to make sure that we were being truthful in this interview. So. And we got it done, and we've worked together before. We work well together. We get it done, no matter what it is. We're locked in. We're and locked all our in. stuff's handmade. Even exactly. Though. Everything is hand done. He, no. he whipped the whipped cream great. by himself, <laughs> so, so you could trust it. My name is Bernadette and I'm in Pro Start 2. I'm Julia and I'm in Pro Start 2 too. I'm, in, I'm Christina and I'm in Pro Start 2 also. I'm Azumi and I'm also in Pro Start 2. We're making penne alla vodka um, and for dessert chocolate, like molten lava cakes. I think we have a lot of flavors. I think we're, our pasta is really good. We had a lot of good techniques. Maybe for I love the pasta, especially the vodka. I love the vodka, so I was thinking for this competition, I could, we could make something that we all enjoy as a group. Mm -hmm. My name is Jada, and I'm a part of Pro Star 2. My name is RJ, and I'm part of Pro Star 2. My name is Lennon, I'm part of ProStar 2. Best student, actually. Verifiably. Okay, today we are beef making burrito tacos. beef burrito tacos, and for our dessert, we are making strawberry banana pudding. Just the best. Not because not because we're just the best, but we have had history where we have won a lot of our classes. Yeah, we assignments. always win. It's kind of sad. We always win in our class. What was your inspiration for your dish? My birth. And the painting. It's and the statue. Thing. Wait, hold on. What's that statue of David? The statue of David. That inspired us. It's true. I met Leonardo da Vinci, real guy. I took culinary because I practiced to cook at home. When I, I was born myself. talented. And I feel like this is just my comfort zone. Can I give my backstory for this one? Okay. So when I was born, there came three chefs, right? First, Gordon Ramsay, he brought spices. Then, Bobby Flay, he brought another pair of spices. Then, Chef Boyardee, and he taught me the sauce. This really happened. I was born under the Big Dipper in a barn. And that gave me a chemical reaction that caused me to be the greatest chef in culinary too, and pro star too, in the world. Prophesized. And RJ, <laughs> yours? He doesn't have a backstory. I just like food. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jonathan Matias. I am in culinary too. Uh, my name is Richard Pearson. I am in culinary too. Hi, my name is Jonathan Palsy. I am in Pro Star 1. Hello, my name is Daniel LaRusso. I'm in Pro Star 1. We're making sliders of cow and Cajun fries. Cajun, Cajun, Cajun fries. fries. And um, we have a Oreo uh, 
Right, 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 uh, honestly, the dedication I, uh, for the this dedication, team. The really teamwork is... that we have on our team. I see all these other teams scrambling around, but us are together. And I also think our, our dessert is far above. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right we tried our dessert, it was amazing. So superior. Amazing. It was awesome. way better. Because uh, compared to other, uh, other, other classes, it's like, what are we doing, you know? We want to become top yeah. class chefs. You know, for the future, too. You know, you want to learn how to cook food. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and I'm in Culinary 2. Hi, I'm Kara, I'm in Culinary 2. Hi, I'm Ollie and I'm in Pro Start 1 in Culinary 2. We are making tomato pasta with biscuits with garlic butter on the side um, with chicken and then our dessert is going to be Rice Krispies with Dolce de Leche cream um, with coconut on top and then we're also going to have funnel cake. <laughs> because I like baking food. I want to pursue a culinary yes. career. That would be really fun. <laughs> it's really fun. Yeah. Baking, cooking. <laughs> I like baking. And last question, what is your team name? Um, we don't have a team name. It's an untitled. That's our team name, untitled. untitled. Yeah. <laughs> Best of luck to all of the teams competing. Let's not waste any time as the chefs have two hours to cook. Let's start chopping back then. All teams are off and ready to start stirring, prepping, baking, and frying. Let's hope it brings them to the promised land of Becton Shop. Okay, and when the timer is done, your plates should be done and presented, and your kitchen should all be clean and all dishes put away. All right. So, uh, so why are we cutting garlic again at uh, one hour left? Oh, I accidentally burnt the garlic. I wasn't being the That was a bad misplay by me. Okay. okay. So how are we gonna fix this? I'm changing the oil, get it nice and clean, so you get no bitter taste from the burnt okay. garlic. Okay. You think and it's gonna affect your timing? No. no. Awesome. Good job. Keep I'm, it up. I'm all calm and collected. <laughs> Wow, look at the color on that, awesome. So what could we do with uh, Shallow fry. Shallow fry, awesome. So it's less oil, nice color, good job. Keep it up, young man. Great job. That's called conventional heating. Wow, so this would be like the, the, the world famous double boiler method, right? That's true. Wow, and what's inside the pot, can we see? Creme brulee. Oh, that looks like the Eya sauce. Creme brulee. <laughs> we got sliders over here? Yeah, cooking up the sliders, not on a grill, so it's a little bit outside of our domain. But what has that ever stopped us? We got some fries here, Cajun fries. Not yet. We got some burgers here. I'm waiting also to put that in the oven. This is fabulous. And, uh, yeah, we're uh, going to add a little bacon on it and call it a day. Yo, what we got? Oh, it's not done yet. Oh, it's not done? It's not done. It's a bacon, egg, and cheese, New York style. Right now, we're going to start putting this into the oven to warm up to reheat again. So, um, we're getting caramel bananas done. 
Cafe out of Fox was done for our dessert, to make a banana pudding, and we're almost done. What's your team name? Oh, worldwide. What's your team name and where you're at right now? Three dollars and fifty cents, and I'm making my banana pudding for the dessert. Banana pudding? Yep. Strawberry banana pudding. Strawberry. Oh, we're team lemonade mouth, and we're just getting ready to plate our dish. Plate the dish? Yeah. Um, our team is untitled because we came up with a name. Um, I'm just cleaning up the plates so they look more neat and organized. And then we're just cleaning dishes. And what's the dish? Um, so this is tomato pasta with chicken on top. We have a biscuit with garlic butter, and then we have a funnel cake and a rice crispy treat that is not complete yet with uh, dolce leche coconut cream on top. Tonight, we have Becton's best faculty as our panel of judges, Mrs. Ick, Mrs. Diakos, and Mrs. Savinki. The fellow judges look to decide Becton's shop champion. All of those dishes look tasty. Let's head over to our final judging panel. We have for our main dish, like kind of like a miso ramen, and you have some soft boiled eggs, and then bean sprouts, seaweed, and then for your protein, you have chicken on the side. And then your dessert, you have like a banana foster pudding type of thing going on. So, that's great. We went, we prepared. We knew what we were trying to get going into it. It was a little difficult because, you know, price range, but we ended up getting some uh, potatoes that we cut into fries, uh, a half pound of uh, ground beef that we prepared into uh, our mini sliders, and then we got some bacon that we prepared into, uh, we incorporated into our mini slider. And now you might be like, what is that? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll tell you right now. It's a, <laughs> it's a fried Oreo with frosting and a little bit of strawberry paste on top. And yeah. We have uh, chicken cutlets. Our team name. Uh, we have a come up with a team, team name. Team oh, team cutlet. Cutlet. Me, me cutlet. Me cutlet. Me cutlet. Cutlet. So these are classic Italian chicken cutlets. And then we have loaded mashed potatoes with cheddar, bacon. We had some sour cream because it makes it good. And then for our dessert, we did an Oreo. We kind of took it apart. We combined the Oreo filling with powdered sugar, heavy cream, and raspberries. So we added some more on top, and that's our dessert. So penne alla vodka with chicken, and then some shredded Parmesan on top. And then for our dessert, it's like a chocolate molten lava cake. We ran into a few issues, so we had to... This is kind of like... Decadent chocolate. Yes. And we added strawberries and drizzle and powdered sugar on top. And this is my abuela's birria tacos. We made with some uh, additions by me, Jade and RJ, some modifications, and everything except the tortillas are made from scratch. Very impressive. Yeah. And what's, in, what's inside the tacos? The tacos have ground beef, which came from a chuck roast, and so we ground it ourselves, and then we mixed it in with the birria sauce, cooked it up nice, kept the spice kind of low, Added some cheddar cheese and some cilantro and onions for garnish. And for our dessert, we have strawberry banana pudding, which I did make from scratch. Um, basically, it's just a layer incorporated with imitation banana cream um, pudding, uh, strawberries, and sliced bananas with crumbles of vanilla vanilla wafers in between. And then on top, we have a vanilla wafer and some more. Um, so we have marinara pasta with parmesan crusted chicken. Um, we have cheddar cheese biscuits with homemade garlic butter that I made. Um, our dessert, we have a piece of funnel cake that we made with pancake and waffle mix as our mystery item. And then we have rice krispies with a dolce de leche coconut cream and white chocolate on top. Rice krispies with a dolce de leche. How was the taco? 
microwave the taco. It was good, a little salty when I did it. I don't want to mess up these other plates. The, um, it was his grandma's recipe. And the miso soup, I told you. Nice. Very uh, tasty. Is that the cake? Um, the chicken cutlet is good, good cutlet. very good. I like chicken cutlet skin, so that's my bias. I'll try a piece of this one here. Pear. Let me try um, mashed potatoes. That's is this an a, Oreo. This is that's a fried a, Oreo. Fried Oreo. Beckton's Top Chef is $3.50. Congratulations. <laughs>